Hey Pisces, it's Suzanne with Sunny Forest Tarot here to do your monthly reading for the month of May 2020. And this is Pisces for Hemp. So for the month of May, I have done readings for her and for him. And then you can match up with your appropriate person, whoever that happens to be. All right, so this card represents your expectations for the month of May. This card represents your feelings for the month of May. This card represents the opportunity that you have in May. And then this card represents what could be happening around you in May. This is the most important card for Pisces for him for May. There will be no clarifications for this reading. It's very cut and dry. We don't need them. Then we're using two oracle cards. We're using the Romance Angels and we're using the Lenormand deck. Whoops. Okay, so let's see. Your expectations for May. Seven of Swords. So you're either expecting to be alone or you might be expecting maybe um, something to come back at you. Something that you might have done that was not necessarily on the up and up you might be expecting consequences from your actions feelings for the month of may the chariot card of cancer so you know i feel like Whatever happened here, whatever you might have some regret about, maybe some type of behavior, something you said, something you did that you weren't necessarily proud of, it, you know, it might have caused you it might be causing you to, you know, take a look at how you want to move forward. Chariot is about how you move forward. Do you move forward? based on the power of reason or the power of the heart. In the past, you might have been um, much more focused on what made sense logically, which might have caused you to do or say things that weren't aligned with your heart. And now you might, you might be really looking at how to move forward and be aligned with what your heart wants at the same time. All right, so what's the most important card for Pisces for him? Five of Cups. So whatever it is that you feel like you're missing, you're, you feel like you're, you've lost something, you might feel sadness over something in the month of May. I feel like there is a reason for it. You know, I feel like Five of Cups and Seven of Swords um, a lot of times can go hand in hand because, you know, this can be the consequences of this. So I feel like you said or did something that was not aligned with how your heart felt. You know, you might have been looking at it purely from the standpoint of, is it practical? Does it make sense logically? Which, you know, puts you in the position of how do I move forward? Do I move forward in this energy or do I move forward with the energy of what is aligned with my heart? What does this say? Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. So, <clears throat> you 
You're obviously questioning something right now. You're questioning how to move forward. Um, you might be questioning a person or you might know that a person is questioning you. And this is saying, you know, that you have to have some level of faith and trust in the universe. You know, this can also be, you know, surrendering to what is to allow what is supposed to be. What is the opportunity here for you this month of May? The opportunity is for judgment or reconciliation or a rebirth to the situation. But this only happens, I feel like, if you place a level of trust in yourself and in whoever it is that you're dealing with. Trust in your heart. What direction does your heart want to go in? Whatever direction your heart wants to go in leads to potentially a rebirth or a reconciliation with somebody. And you know, I always say that in the Five of Cups, even though those three cups are spilled over here, you've got the Two of Cups right up here. So there is a Two of Cups or a mutual connection somewhere here for you. But I feel like the Seven of Swords energy, something you said or did at some point, might have allowed this connection to go sideways. And now you're asking yourself some, some difficult questions like, you know, you might have put yourself first in a way that didn't serve you. You might not have put somebody else's feelings as a priority. I feel like that's definitely here. And you might have been in the energy of simply wanting to do whatever you wanted to do for yourself. So be it. But I feel like that's changing now. I feel like somebody who's important to you is taking some priority for you now. So what's happening around you? Something you may see or may not see. We have the lovers. This connection, we just talked about this two of cups that's within that five of cups. Okay, um, there is a connection here. There is a strong at attraction that is around you. So if you're questioning whether or not somebody will take you back because of something you did around Seven of Swords, I feel like as long as you follow your heart and you're authentic, I feel like reconciliation and this connection can absolutely be repaired. The lovers is, you know, that's about the connection the two of you have. It's a strong type of connection. It's, you know, it makes you, you know, this is the butterflies. This person gives you butterflies in your stomach. What do we have here? We have the tree, which is about growth. You know, and a tree can only grow if it has strong roots. So I feel like what is being repaired here is the foundation of this connection. Something shook the foundation of this connection to the point where you felt lost, where you have lost some faith in whether or not this connection can happen. It's really, at the, at the end of the day, it's about your feelings and it's about following your feelings, following your heart. This is all major arcana. It was supposed to happen the way it did, even if it felt like it was a mistake. Whatever loss you feel when it comes to this connection, I feel you were supposed to feel that loss. It took you down a couple of notches, to be honest with you. Okay? 
but it's here for the taking if you want it. But it's about following your heart, leaving the Seven of Swords energy behind and realizing that this connection is only going to grow if it's rooted in a strong foundation. And this number five here on this card indicates that something has to change here in order for that to happen. And I feel like it's not leading with your logic, it's leading with your heart. All right, Pisces for him. That is what I have for you. Um, if you are looking for a deeper personal reading, you can reach out to me. I'm always here for you. Um, I will respond quickly and we'll get you taken care of. If not, no problem. Um, I wish you much happiness, health, good health, and, and safety. And I will talk to you next time. All right? Much love. Bye.